Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautinen from the Flourish Academy and today we will be removing a complex martingale collar using generative AI in Photoshop. But first, make sure you visit our website at flourish.academy to learn more about our courses and join us in our free private Facebook community where we support photographers of all levels. Those links are below. And make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com, for all of your photography needs. You will be supporting a small family-owned business. My friend Jessica from Bark and Gold Photography based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, recently sent me this image and she wasn't planning on removing the collar for her client, but we thought we would give it a try using generative AI in Photoshop. And I just wanna show you, when I played around with this image, I was able to get it removed pretty cleanly. But as you may have already experienced, this tool is anything but predictable. I'm going to begin by selecting my polygonal lasso tool and let's zoom in with a commander control plus space bar in order to pan and I am just going to make a loose selection. I grabbed this selection tool just because it was easier for me. It doesn't matter what you use, however you wanna select this would be fine, but I thought this would be fast. Okay, let's see. Then we're just gonna generative fill, generate. We're not going to give it any prompt and we're going to see what Photoshop does. Okay, interesting. Let's see, let's zoom out so we can get a better visual and look at that before and after. It's interesting that it extended this plant, but other than that, that was the third version. This looks pretty good. Of course, we don't know what was actually going on behind the collar. We don't know the patterns of this dog, so it's kind of hard to say what the best is, although I think this version looks pretty good. But as you see, it made a mistake here. But I wanted to show you how to stack generative AI adjustments, which is really quite fun. I'm going to press every modifier on the keyboard. That is Command, Option, Shift, and E on the Mac. That's Control, Alt, Shift, E on the PC in order to merge up. So I took all of those adjustments, merged them up to that top layer, and then I'm going to grab my regular lasso tool and just see what this looks like if we do generative fill and generate. That's interesting. It something <laughs> something went against their guidelines with that. F okay, I'm not sure, but it did. Okay, well, you'll have to make some decisions here how you want that to look. But I I want to show you. This is the version we did just now. This was the let's zoom in with the command or control plus, and this is the one I did when I was testing this image. They look similar, but a little bit different. And my point in showing you that is it really depends on the selection, what the result looks like. So there's a few things I want you to remember here. In fact, what I'm going to do is delete all of these layers is that depending on your selection, you're going to get a different result. You should definitely play around, but also you might have to stack the results. So when I first did this image, I used the polygonal lasso tool. I wonder if I just made this type of selection loosely with the regular lasso tool, Ooh, watch the ear, and did a generative fill, generate, if it would look any different. <laughs> It gave this dog an entirely new collar. Okay, there it removed it, and there it removed it. That is just so funny. My point is that this tool is fun and unpredictable. You're never quite sure what you're going to get, and sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes you need to stack the adjustments. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.